Episode 4 of Fear of the Walking Dead has come and gone, and while we didn't lose anybody outright, we do know of another character that's unfortunately most likely no longer with us. It seems to be. Uh, you never know with Alicia. She has a lot of ulterior motives. That's true. It, it, you know, this season. I'm Justin. That charming guy you just heard talking is JP, and the guy who's over there being quiet is Matt. Hello. I'm oh, not singing this I week. I was going to say, give us a nod. Hello. Give us a nod. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm not but, singing this week? No, I got music this you were time. Gonna, we're you were going to glaze right by that question. I'm going to ask it again. <laughs> yep. I'm going to um, say <laughs> I'll sing anyway. So, episode four has come and gone, and man, this was a tense episode. I thought the water park setting was really freaking cool. That Yeah. I, I, I bet that was like a real abandoned water park, huh? It looked like it. They That's, probably didn't do all that damage just during the off season. And I, you know, I have not spent much time myself climbing up old slides, so I... Old water slides, yeah, anyway. I did that a lot at the playground right. as a kid, but never like an actual water park. Right. Water mercy. So I don't know, but I would imagine that, you know, I mean, slides are made entirely to put, like, send you down, yeah, and especially water idea. slides. So yeah, I bet that was a hard trick. That's the main thing behind that game. Wait, what? Shoots and ladders. <laughs> that's the main thing behind that game. Oh. Is that you go down a slide. Right. You go up a ladder. Oh, you can't yeah, go okay. down. A I never played shoots and ladders. Really? Right? Yeah, I was deprived. Oh, man. Yeah, chalk. I'll go. Never played. Play it. Never played it. Always heard of it. Never so that, played it. <laughs> that explains why he was like, like what? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. Did okay. you just make that up? Yeah. <laughs> I wish, dude. That'd no, be no a, a million dollar exists. idea. I actually met someone a while back that had never played uh, Monopoly. Well, that person obviously cherishes the relationship with their family and friends because right. Monopoly just destroys relationships. Indeed it does. Shoot, I just met somebody who went with his girlfriend to see Avengers Infinity War having not seen any you of the MC movie movies. You are not happy about that. No. Why Dude, would are we you gonna, do that? What are we going to do about it? Are we going to make him watch all of them? I, I don't think he... I, I'm going to snap my fingers and one of you is going to make him disappear. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Has it been out long enough that you can, make, you can say stuff like that? It doesn't have anything to do with anything. That's I'm just true. saying. <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. No. Good save. I'm just saying it. That's like Good most safe. of my life. That's my... Yeah. yeah. But so this episode uh, was very tense as we were talking about, like the water park, man. I, I thought that was a great setting, especially when uh, Naomi goes sliding down the slide. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I already have ne- I, I, I love water parks, but you know the little spiral bowls where you go out to that little mm-hmm. pool under it. I've always thought I've certain water parks are sketchier than others, but I've always been weary of those. It just I've looks like it's too easy to get trapped oh, yeah, up under it. it. Yeah, I know and what you're saying. And she goes down and it's just rat. four zo- like a bunch of zombies sitting in that. I'm like, man, that's almost like perfect. Perfectly designed for death. <laughs> Remember in the mall when you put that your coin in that little thing and it would spin oh, all the yeah. way around. It's sequential. What's the word I'm looking for? Essentially. Essentially. Thank you. I'm trying to add a Q in there. Sequentially. Sequentially in order of the way these things went. <laughs> Equestionary. No, that's there pretty were much horses? what you're doing. They were <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Grief. But no, that's pretty much what you're doing in a raft. It's just going around yeah. and around. But the theme of this episode was definitely leaving. Like I yeah. think that was like last oh. week, you know, like... Um, well, no, that was Inven- I was thinking of an Avengers theme, but we won't go there. Oh, uh, <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> stop! That's a different podcast. <laughs> oh, yes. But we uh, <laughs> people will be like, "What the hell are you?" <laughs> it's early. Um, but it, damn it, where was it going? Uh, but no, the whole theme of this episode seemed to be leaving. We had Strand showing that he was ready to go at a moment's notice. Had it had that mm-hmm. uh, you know SUV packed full of supplies. Then we also had Naomi trying to roll out and leave uh, Alicia. Um, I don't know and, what Cole's problem is. Mm. Vic, Victor Strand offers me a one way ticket to ride off with him and a bunch of canned goods. Victor Strand, take me away. Victor why does Strand turn, why does will be your man. Scarlett O'Hara. At I, the end of he that. just, he so just does something to me. Are we, so, are these? Are, is this uh, taking place in the past or the present? Basically, the past. Okay. Like what they're doing is we all we know we know that the the ball field fell apart. We know that it it mm-hmm. it fell, but we don't know how yet. We don't know who so all it died. Be, it could be a number of things. It could be an, an approaching group of people. It could be. It's an probably earthquake. got something to do with those people outside. Well, the, it's, the, okay. the biggest thing with them right now is famine. Their crops have failed. They're running mm-hmm. out of food. Mm-hmm. And the vulture group basically like like Negan rules through intimidation. And the, the leader of the vultures basically just sits there and he's a dick. You know, I might like a vulture. We're, we're not going to hurt you. We're not going to help you. We're just going to let this play out and then pick the bone. I kind of respect that's, that a little. That's my that's my thing I was going to ask. It makes me sound kind of stu- I know this might be a stupid question, but just fill me in. The I mean, it's, stupid it's questions early. are the one that are unasked. <laughs> you don't know the questions going oh, around in my touche, head. Touche, my friend. Challenge accepted. <laughs> but 
I mean, if they die of famine, what else is there to pick? I mean, are they just looking more for like ammo and stuff? I, I guess, mean, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, they're they're grilling weenies. That's and, like the only problem with the plan that I see is it's like, okay, well, wait a minute. I mean, the most important thing in the zombie apocalypse, I mean, obviously weapons, but to survive, you really need food and water. Well, if they all die of famine, I mean, I yeah. guess are you just there for the ammo? Because yeah. if they all starve to death, odds are there's not going to be probably a scrap of food right. left That's in that place. That's a long, slow death, too. Right. So, so what are you like really waiting on? Yeah. yeah. But they say the very, very end is very euphoric. Oh, really? That when you're starving to death, yeah, and you I finally, your, your last few moments, they say you're you're really feeling good. I've, the uh, news is going to have uh, kids uh, now trying a new drug, <laughs> starving themselves. Yeah, starvation. I've also read that there's a point of starvation where you get to where even if you started to eat, it would be too late. Yeah. Like, you can get to a point of starvation to where, like, huh. uh, you know, once you, you could start eating, but it's too late. Your body's already shutting down, and it's you've, you're past the point of, of saving. Yeah, I, I think I learned that in the book uh, Into the Wild. You guys remember? Oh, no, oh, yeah. yeah. That's that sadly hatchet, based on a true story. Really, oh. Remember the hatchet? That's a good one, too. I don't know if I remember that. You know that. what stuck with me more than anything else in that book? What's that? The pilot having gas oh, as yep. the plane went down. Right, because that is a sign smell. of a heart attack. Mm-hmm. You know, you start having gas, but I remember being a kid... And for some reason, that just stuck he out. Farted. <laughs> he farted. He's going to die. And then you realize later, like, oh, shit, that's that's deep. That's, yeah. I need to go but, to get my doctor check up. This. But that's been my question with the vultures the whole time, is it's like, what? I mean, what, Yeah, I mean, I guess gonna, they get the stadium, they get the ammo, they get whatever. But and, and what's even weirder is he's asking her to, he's asking Madison to just join up with us, like their group. I right. Mean, essentially, that's just more mouths to feed. And, yeah. I mean, yeah. Unless, is he planning I, on feeding them? Oh, that's the thing. I don't know what is it. He offered her a weenie. Yeah, he oh, did do that. Wait, and those were some mighty we... big hot dogs that come out of a can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So I was I thinking when you I, were talking about it first. When I think canned hot dogs, I always think like Vienna's or, or yeah, something I mean, to that effect. They, I mean, you do are... have like red hots that are like regular size. They come in a jar, mm-hmm. not in a can, but a canned hot dog being that long, honey, that that's more unbelievable than the dead coming back to life. Believe me. Boom. I believe you. I hope so. But my question is still like, and we also found before I go into that, I was going to say, where is everybody? Because all we have now is Strand, Luciana, and Alicia, you know, now that Nick's dead. Mm-hmm. Um, but, which we did get to see him again still in the flashbacks. He was a big part of this episode. So at least he's gone, but we still get more of him before. Will he be a part of the, you think he'll just be a part of the, the past storyline for the rest of the season? Probably, yeah. At Until least, they catch up with it? Because yeah, they said the actor wanted to get out of it. Finale. So probably that's the what they did was they killed him off and then they, you know, but they filmed part of the season with him in say, the past. I was going to say, yeah, have they already filmed all of his scenes for the season? Yeah. yeah. I, I would imagine they'll wrap that up by mid-season finale, would Probably, yeah. And but who was it who said? Uh, somebody in the comments said that's like Stannis Baratheon's son. Yeah, I the saw that. The guy that plays Stannis, Stannis Baratheon. Baratheon. They were saying the guy that plays Nick is his son. Is that right? Yeah, mm-hmm. what, I never realized. It's in that. the comments. We get a lot of comments. It's hard I think to like everybody's comments. least favorite, <laughs> least favorite of the uh, of the Baratheons because Stannis just was one of those characters where it was like he wanted he just wanted to be there so bad and it just never worked. He just yeah. I don't know. He was kind of the Meg. I felt me anyways. He was like the Meg of the group. It's oh. like just shut up, Meg. You're talking about that, that shark movie, <laughs> man. That big that, Jason Statham shark movie. That red witch just got to throwing it on him, screwed up his thinking. Yeah, she did. Um, but so, but all right. Anyway, so we we uh, we know that it's only the three of them. So I don't know. They, when we find out that John Dory, which is I find weird because he's been looking for a Laura, mm-hmm. but we find out that Naomi was Laura or might have been Laura. He said she never gave me her real name, which makes you wonder, like, what was the nature of their relationship if he didn't get her real name and, like, I don't know. Or maybe she killed Laura and had her, because we still don't know entirely about Naomi's background. Yeah, I think there's still a lot of dots left to connect. I thought that was a little weird, too, like he's in love with her, but she never gave me her real name. I don't know what that's about. I really hope they don't turn John Dory into a bad guy. I know the description says, you know, there's some things about him we don't know, but man, I don't want to... I I like like the character. Turns out he's two kids in a trench coat. (laughs) And a cowboy hat. You think you think well, you that completes the ensemble? No, and, of and he says Ties that the he, whole outfit together. He used to be a cop too. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. Oh God, he's a narc. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's interesting. I um, I don't know. That was a that was a kind of an. I mean, it's just one of those things where um, big world and somehow they steal. Like people were mad that Michonne found her daughter in the comics, mm-hmm. but yet John Dory stumbles upon the people that 
have his girl stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, but I mean, it's a show. It's got to be, or else it'd be really boring. It, if uh, everything was so spaced out. But I'm saying it. Ma- it makes you wonder if maybe that's what's going to, you know, kind of turn the tide for Morgan once again. He finds another crazy some bitch that he's got to put down. God, I hope not, man. Yeah. Which well, last we see, John Dory and Morgan were left behind. Yeah, right? and, and they have a great chemistry. I would hate to see it go down like that. I love how they're like, "We'll find you." And it's like, man, it's a big world out there. You're leaving to go fight the uh, vultures, and I mean, you, you didn't even have a rendezvous point or anything. You're Texas just like is pretty spread out, which they do know where the vultures are uh, coordinating next. But they supposedly have- they're right. But I'm saying supposedly Morgan and John Dorian going, going there, right. and then they're like, you know, she's like, "Well, fi- I'll find you" or whatever. And it's like, but I mean, how though? <laughs> I yeah, mean, where are you, you going to know? I mean, even in just a small town like this. With the world ended, and I drop you off here and then ride around. What are the odds that I'm going to just run into you again? You know, yeah, they'll I mean, save the world. day. Yeah. They'll save the day. They know where everything's going down. They're not going to, you know. It was also it was. I just want to give credit to the person who who brought it up that it was Stannis Baratheon. Uh, mm-hmm. Sim Diva Thirty. Is Sim name. Diva. So thank shout you. out Sim Diva. to you, Sim Diva. Thank you for part- Slim Diva. Sim Diva. Sim Diva. Sim Diva. Shout Sim out to you. Big I shout think that's out. That's an I and not a. Slim Diva. We need a shout out. Yeah, sound sound effect. Effect. Slim Diva sounds like a rap name. Slim Diva. Slim Diva in the house. But yeah, um, so I'm trying to think what. It, so so we we had a little bit of a one on one between Madison and and the leader of the Vultures. Like I said, he offered her a wiener, and we we learned that his story is very. Mm. We learned that her story is very similar to his. Yeah. In the, the sense that you know, I, I liked how they put that twist in it. This season does really good with like. Not everything is what you think on the surface. You know what I'm saying? Like she goes and like she finishes a story for him. And she's like, I know the story. You saw the fire coming. You and your brother made it out. No one would listen to you. And he doesn't correct her. But then as she's walking away, he's like, you know, you had the story wrong. You know, I convinced everybody to stay when everyone wanted to leave. And then only me and my brother made it out, which is kind of like her. Everybody's telling her, let's go. And she's one of the only ones that wants to stay planted at that ball field. I want to know where do you think uh, Madison is? What happened to her? I really hope. Give she's me your not thoughts. Dead. I feel like feelings. she's dead. There's a couple of a couple of uh, people that are that are thinking that. I think she's dead, but I really I hope did. she's not. But I, I think she's with the vultures, dog. I think do you she. Think, so if she's with the vultures, do you think she's there because she wants to be, or because she's being made to be? I think so. I think they uh, came Which to one? a compromise. I think they showed her a better way, and oh. I think Nick and Strand, no way, and Alicia just weren't about it. I so think they were no, like, lady "There's no way that there's no way that Madison Clark would leave her kids." I mean, there's no way. Unless what if they what if they threatened her kids? What if they were like, "You don't." Come That's with what us, I'm thinking. Like maybe they they, they 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 made she's her like, okay, go. I want you to. Kill I, I don't think she's there under duress. I think either she's playing at a, a big bigger game she's taking them down from the inside she pulled a eugene maybe maybe or 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 you know maybe uh, nick strand and alicia are just going down this ultra dark path maybe they're doing some stuff that she's no longer comfortable with you know oh like heroin i don't know when nick uh, no i think she's cool with that oh okay when she's nick cool caught up with the vulture that he killed last week man i mean he seemed to have like straight vengeance in his heart like in the way the type of vengeance like madison was murdered and or he hmm. stole his mommy away just because she he feels like uh, madison loves this guy more than she loves her own family so it's kind of like a being mad at your stepdad type thing yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's it, pretty it extreme, be, though. It doesn't have to be homicide. I don't think he would have went that crazy, though, if she, if if unless they kidnapped or killed his mom. I feel like if she was I'm kind of like what Matt said, I think she might be there, but like against her own will. I, I don't know, man. I think betrayal leaves a, a deeper cut than, you know, than the first cut is the death. deepest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like someone had to die or be kidnapped for him to be that, you know, if mama just left him from this group, I don't think Nick would. I don't know. I just don't see Nick. I like the idea guy. of her going willingly, but in order to take them down from the inside. Yeah. Which, I mean, really, at this point, they don't have that big of a reason to want to kill them all yet because they haven't done anything to them. Like, they just showed up. You know what I'm saying? At this point, as far as, I mean, well, no, well, no, let, me, let me backtrack a little bit. No, they have been, like, intercepting their messages. So, like, when they're going to hit up a place for supplies, they beat them there first and get the supplies. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's what's good about this season is it really is a the lot of questions. remains. So I'm pretty pretty stoked. Uh, leave us uh, leave us in the comment section what you think is is going on. Where you think Madison is? Where do you think things went so wrong? Because I mean, like I said, the vultures 
they've they've been assholes, but they haven't really done anything. They haven't killed anyone, kidnapped anyone. You know what I'm saying? Like they've just taken supplies more or less, which is life or death in this world. But at the moment, it's not all that. If they can sit there and share weenies, <laughs> which they did, and I know she turned one down. But yeah, in my mind, what they're doing now is worse than just the coming straight up at you. You know? Think so? Yeah, yeah. In my mind, it is. I don't know. So I don't know. It's it's it's. I'm really liking this season, though, man. It's got me asking. It's really cool to have so many questions from, you know. I just I don't know. I don't feel like I get that as much from The Walking Dead. Like the you just kind of more like who's gonna die on the finale. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely think it's the uh, the stronger of the two shows right now for sure. At the moment, which they just released some pictures from the set of the new season of The Walking Dead. Have you seen it? Oh, I haven't. Old man Rick. Which really, he, I thought it looked like he had a cane on the horse. You haven't had a chance. Definitely look up those images on Google. But it looked like he had a cane and like a hol- like a holster on the horse. But um, he had the old man Rick look, but not his, be- like, I mean, just his hair was cut short. I right. mean, he had a little bit more gray in his beard, which he's progressively been, it's been getting grayer and grayer as the show goes on. But I mean, so his beard had gray, but he never looked so much as cane. old. Hmm? You, you thought you saw a cane? I thought I saw a cane. I'll have to go That's back and look wild, at the picture. Man. It could have like, been a shotgun, but I thought it looked like a cane. They opt out of Negan breaking his leg, and he just, you know, like trip going down the stairs Ooh, or something. Right. I mean, it, shotgun why would they cane. do that? That's, mm-hmm. that, I, that's what I'm thinking. If it's not a cane in the sheath, it's like a, a gun. You know, Hopefully it could be like a, a rifle or something. You want to put your but, barrel down in the dirt. That's a, that's a good way to get hurt. But they're all on horses. Well, that's cool. So we're definitely getting towards There's that the part of the story. that we were talking about. It all comes around. It all comes around. But, uh, Lauren Lauren Cohen's going to be in a yeah. movie with Mark Wahlberg. It's yep. called Mile Twenty Two. Oh wow! It's Peter Berg. It's the same guy that's done like Deep Water Horizon and Lone Survivor and all that. But apparently, critics are shitting on it hardcore. Who just they like the boy all over and over, it. like all over again. She uh, she reached an agreement too with The Walking Dead, so she's back. Oh, nice. and of course Scott Gimple's kind of backtracked a little bit and be like, "No, we didn't mean for you to think that Maggie was going to kill Rick and Michonne. No, we just." She's going to kill Negan. And it's like, you totally, you, well, then you did that wrong. <laughs> uh, just one more reason to hate Scott Gimple. I think, mm-hmm. yeah, a lot of people do, which he oversees this show too. So I don't know what he's getting right on this that he doesn't well, on that. I don't, I don't think know. he has his fingers in the pie for this show as much. I, I was, think they're like, no, you've got your baby. You let us handle this one. I was going to say his you fingers aren't in the us. dough as much. So oh, pot dough. He made a pot full of dough. Who knows? Yeah. Well, I said pie. Did it sound like I said pot? I thought you said pot. In, uh, fingers in the pot. Well, fingers in the either pie. way, I like that one better. I said fingers in the pie, but I like fingers in the pot better. Anyway. Pie pot. Pot pie. Oh, fingers in the pot pie. There we go. That's hot. I was going to say that. Be careful. But uh, I'm trying to think uh, what else uh, to cover in this episode. It was, um, like I said, Naomi or Laura, whatever her name really is. We know that they're saying she's dead. So we know that she's bit the dust at some point or or they think she's dead it definitely could be a situation where they think she's dead but she'll come back mm-hmm. i know you said you're really digging like the uh, the documentary kind of i like the, i like I that so film too, style yeah. man it's just cool to i like it better than i like like the walking dead's black and white transitions to the past it's yeah. cool to see to, just to see that kind of documentary style done because i've seen that on like some cheap zombie movies and stuff yeah. but i think the show's done it really well it, it reminds me of one of romero's uh, later movies diary of the dead Did you ever see that one that was definitely one of his better installments from like his later years i'm not 100 percent sure probably i've seen a lot of the like day of the dead and the, there was one that was like a revolution or something yeah there it was a lot of in my opinion i, I know romero has a very rabbit following but he's made some crappy movies yeah <laughs> especially in his later years well have you seen the one where at the end the two zombies like shoot each other it's like the they've had like land it's been so long since i've seen it but they had like a feud over land and life and yeah, so land they become of the zombies dead, i think was his big like last theatrical release and, and yeah it they had shoot like each a, other yeah it was it's it's kind of stupid it wasn't uh it wasn't horrible horrible but it definitely wasn't like a high note right i remember dawn of the dead and then of course day of the dead like yeah. the Dios second Dios one Muertos. The one, the one with Bub in it, wasn't that Day of yeah, the Dead? Yeah, uh, you know they said if uh, if he had the budget he wanted for Day of the Dead, it would have been like a hundred times better. And I don't even think that one was well, like bad. I haven't seen it in a million years, but yeah, no, I like that one. It's kind yeah. of kind of like showing after the apocalypse, like surviving, and mm-hmm. the whereas the you know Dawn of the Dead was more the which one was the. All right, Night so we had Dawn of the Dead. Of the Dead. The yeah, one. Night of the Living Dead was the very first one. Dawn of the Dead was, was the one where they were the in the mall. mall, and then Day of the Dead was the one like at that military base with Bub in it, and yeah. then. Uh, 
after that, it just kind of started. Getting... Yeah, after that, you had Land of the Dead, and that was like early 2000s, I think. And then he did a bunch that were like kind of oh, straight man. Amusement to DVD, Park of the of... Dead, Grocery Store of the Dead, uh, Podiatrist of the Dead. Of the dead. Oh, man, there were so many of them. Ugh. Water Park of the Dead, uh, he was making that one before he passed away. And so. they just continued it in this episode, apparently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's where they got the, yeah, they pulled the so, idea yeah, from the it. Set, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, I, another good episode. I'm trying to think. I'm sure I'm leaving something out. I mean, there's a lot of, I, I'll say that they're doing really good at like creating that sense of just dread. You know what I mean? Through this episode, mm-hmm. you can just tell things are getting, so, are going to get so bad. Especially with Luciana talking about, I should have never opened that book. And yeah. then, I mean, everybody had that moment, you know what I mean? Where they're like, we shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done that. And it's all like leading up to this, something big that's going to happen. I don't know what it's going to be, but something big is on the horizon. You, you think their new journalist friend with the armored uh, vehicle, you think she's going with them because she's starting to believe in her, their cause? I think she wants she to document wants story. it. I think she she's, wants to document this. She yeah, I think she, story. she sees an opportunity. I mean, like, you know, people... Uh, you know, are are commended for like wartime photography and 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 video and stuff. So I think that's kind of where her mind's at. She wants to document all of this, and what better to document than a battle? You know, mm-hmm. she's just been interviewing people up to this point. Now she gets to actually document like feuding groups. I think that's where her head is. But you think they're being one hundred with her as far as what's really going on? Being a hundred? No, I don't think so because they they also misled her to get to the guns yeah made her think that they were going to bury nick out there old bloody you think they would have even worried about burying him if uh if they didn't have that no cash kidding out there? morgan is the one that had to no wait who was it that had to say something morgan right yeah, morgan yeah. had morgan to get on like, him like yeah. please tell me you're going to at least bury your brother i mean you already got the hug do- the hug doll the the hole dug Jeez, louise i was thinking that once you get all those guns out just put them in that hole. box and, and rebury it yeah i mean it's Easy a little piece. shallow but well, i mean even you know. still you got that box to keep the coyotes out? Yeah. Hopefully. Dang coyotes. Dang coyotes, which are out in the desert. There's no telling what else is out there. Mm-mm. Tumbleweeds, prairie dogs, scorpions. Just uh, in honor of Nick, they should have sliced his uh, head open like a cantaloupe, got that adrenal gland, mm. and tripped balls is all the way Is that how that works? That. Yeah, it, it is, is in the show. Three, yeah, yeah oh, season wow. three there. And I've this. heard that that's because of fear and loathing in Las Vegas. They have like adrenal, like. Stuff from the adrenal gland. I, I guess you call it adrenaline. I don't know. Yeah, in season three, they go. Tri- he and uh, Troy go tripping on uh, adrenal glands, and yeah. basically that's how he makes a living for like an episode or so. It's I mean, like, they just eat the whole gland. It's not just like extracted. I mean, they just swallow. Yeah, that man. Sucker. There's no sense. Don't don't toy around. Just go ahead yeah, and take why not? it oh. and get ready to trip balls. But yeah, that's what they should have done. They should have taken Nick's starve themselves for three days and then eat that adrenal yeah. gland. And you, if it's a state, it's like euphoria oh, times ten. Man, hmm. so this podcast is over, right? Let's go get some adrenal <laughs> Let's glands. Get some adrenal and, glands yeah, start lunch. Start starving ourselves Hello. now, guys. I'm hungry. Oh, <laughs> I didn't make it very long. <laughs> so you said, "Let's start starving ourselves." I'm over here with a bag of chips. But yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, uh, we got to rate the episode. Just hold your hand. We're going to do the whole writing thing. Just hold your hand on the table and pull it up. I got mine in my pocket right now. Is that it was what you're already, doing? It was already there, so it's a man, happy accident. You, do some, you don't understand. You're on the other side of this desk, mm-hmm. but he does some stuff over here that I question. But I can't. Why do you think I'm blinking? I'm blinking in Morse code. Oh, you're trying to tell me to like stop, uh, JP. I He's, was just trying to figure out my rating. That's all. That's why my more, fingers uh, are yeah. wiggling around is down that what here. It is? That's all. Yeah. All right, <laughs> pull it out. The the rating, not yeah. Know, come on, be man. clear here. Oh, all right. Wait, I got. Uh, come it's on, in a you fist got it. right now. What's in there? Boom. What's I, happening? I gave it four again. I think that's what I've four. given the last nice. like two, man. I mean, I but mean, it's, it's been good. Is it's, it out of five? Yeah. Out of five. I, I didn't like. I was like about a quarter of the way through. I was like, this feels like a three episode, but man, it just uh, between the water park and Victor Strand and. Phew, just, just taking coal where... Uh, never mind. I, I rate our conversation a five. Mm, there you yeah. go. A six. I'm going to go above. I'm going to draw oh, in wow. an extra star. Above and beyond. Yeah, I give it a four. It wasn't, you know, I mean, it's not that... It's, it had, it, like last week's episode, just, man. So coming off of that. But I mean, it was a good episode. I, don't, I didn't feel bored at any point. I mean, it all was leading up to something. And I like the way they're creating this, like, they're this just foreshadowing this doom that's coming you know you know what's going to happen and if they write it well it's i love it when you know something bad's going to happen but then when it happens it hits you way harder than you thought you were prepared for which is hard to do some people can't some writers can't pull that off as well as others so we'll see how they execute it but solid really good plot great characters and for the listeners i'm not 
I don't want to give you the wrong impression. I'm not, in fact, myself homosexual. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but something about Victor Strand, it just it does something to me. Is I it cannot making, ex- is it making, I can't explain. You question things or uh, maybe so. Maybe you think so. About spending the next thirty years gay. Look, let's let's see how I feel at the uh, midseason finale. Okay, man. Yeah, it's you, man. It's your life. You it's do, my man. life. Just be careful out there, dude, because it's it's a lot of dirty people out there. Okay, so you heard it first here on the podcasting dead. Mm-hmm. Victor well, Strand making me question my sexuality just mm-hmm. because of that. De- the same thing happened with the Star Trek: The Next Generation. Patrick Stewart's voice, man, just gave me thoughts I did not want to admit in the mid '90s. I mean, I'm going to add, not that I have any problem with anybody going with whatever they like, but because the thought of JP and Patrick Stewart together is just not a pleasant image I'll in my believe. mind. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, just I'm, be again. Be careful. I'll, I'll be, be careful. Ca- I'm talking. I, I mean, be careful like, with there's strand. mean people out there. There's, there's like when I say dirty people, I don't mean unclean. Yeah, also, I wasn't going to touch that when I was. <laughs> no, but like not just unclean. Well, there are unclean there people, are, yeah, but I mean like there's grimy people. people out there. There's people that will put you down just because you know you. I wasn't be, sure if you were alluding to like sexual diseases or like like. Oh, I mean, who cares about that? You know, or, yeah, I, who cares about STDs? No, not me. <laughs> and it still burns. You want to take that, Joe? No, I mean, I'm just letting y'all get it's usually, it out your system. You're, we're at the end, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll keep going then. I mean, it's going to kind of fade off like your favorite song. No. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite song, believe me. But. <laughs> uh. So is that it? Anything else you do want to add? I feel like we're in the station wagon and Dad's like, I'm going to turn this car around. <laughs> <laughs> but where would we go then? All right. Well, we'll see you next week. <laughs> um, I don't know where next week's going, but I, 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 I've, I've been watching Westworld, and I'm fixing to switch it. Like I'm enjoying Westworld, but I'm enjoying Fear the Walking Dead a little bit more. Ooh. I know that's kind of taboo, but yeah, you've been watching Westworld like at the airtime, right? I've been watching that fear, as yeah. it comes out, and then watching Fear the next morning, and so. But the problem, not getting any uh, like you know next time on Fear the Walking Dead, so I have no clue what they've teased for the Ooh. next episode. Do you but, use the AMC app? Uh, JP downloads it somehow, and I just watch it on his laptop in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Well, just, that's even nicer. Mm. Yep. So I don't know, but I might actually watch it on TV next week, and then just get you to let me watch Westworld there when I go. get here. Because, like I said, I'm enjoying the season of Westworld, but I just something the fear of the Walking Dead just got me on edge. You know, Westworld right now is just kind of at a state of war. Mm-hmm. Whereas Fear the Walking Dead has got me like got a lot more guesswork going. So yeah, I watched the season premiere. I need to catch up on the last couple episodes. It's been good. Westworld. I've enjoyed yeah. it. I, I've well, definitely still one of my favorite shows. But so yeah, we'll see you next week or sometime in between. What comics come out this week? Do we get mm-hmm. uh, Oblivion Song should be out this week, right? I and think Gideon right. Falls. So we will definitely have some more podcasts in between now and then. So we'll see you at some point this oh. week. And I might be going to the uh, Tidewater Comic Con this Saturday. So if might any be, listeners you know, are in that area, go find JP. Nice. Yeah, might be uh, talking to some people about the podcast or whatever they might want to talk about. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Not set in stone, but that's what I'm shooting for. That's awesome. So. Biggest Comic Con in Virginia, or so I hear. Mm, that's what we're told. It's exciting. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we'll see you uh, sometime soon. <laughs> I'm Justin. Hey, I'm Matt. And I'm JP.